That's for the first time, I guess, since the 1950s. Get ready for this, my friends. The original Ed Sullivan Show, the world's foremost TV MC. You know, Jack Benny used to say that he can... Uh, that Sullivan will get by as long as other people have talent. Remember that? Remember that? <laughs> yes. And Fred Allen used to say, Fred Allen will say that, uh, that, that uh, Ed Sullivan can brighten the room just by leaving it. But whatever they said, <laughs> he dominated the ratings for 30 years, right? He was terrific. Anyhow, he was, oh, he was, yeah. We're remembering Ed Sullivan. I, I would call Ed Sullivan Mr. Broadway. I mean, he was, Ed Sullivan was the nation's link to Broadway. And, uh, Let's face it, he owned, he ruled Sunday nights, and appearing on the Ed Sullivan Show was the ultimate seal of approval. It was like playing the palace. Joe Franklin Show, let's get on the Joe Franklin Show on WOR Radio. Grace and Glory is this summer's refreshing hit. This new play, starring Estelle Parsons and Lucy Arnaz, opened to a blizzard of applause at Broadway's Laura Pell Theater. The New York Times calls Grace and Glory a crowd pleaser, steady laughs, and affectionate humor. Truly moving, a gem cheers New York one, an emotional tour de force of life, laughter, and love. Estelle Parsons and Lucy Arnaz make powerful music that will leave you cheering, says Rex Reed of the New York Observer. Join the cheering. Call 212-869-8400 for Grace and Glory at the Roundabout's Laura Pell Theater. Do you have disastrous skin, ladies and gentlemen? Are you ashamed and embarrassed to show your toes and your heels and your feet to people? Well, let me tell you, I have found a miracle product. It is called Zim's Craft Cream. In fact, I'd like to put this cream all over my entire body. Get rid of those disastrous cracks that have been haunting me into middle age. It's all natural, it's all herbal, and it smooths, softens, and heals dry, cracked. I call it a miracle, an absolute miracle. I am so delighted to find this product. If you use your hands, if you are working with kids in your gardens, it makes no difference. Try this product. A miracle, I call it. Zim's Crack Cream. Ah, it's so good. Available at Genevieve's Legend and Advantage Pharmacies and Quick Check Stores. Zim's Crack Cream. It is good. Joe Franklin saying good morning. Uh, this is so important for the finest quality, for the really greatest quality in Italian frozen food products. You've got to try Andrea. Andrea frozen food products are available in the frozen food section of your local supermarket chain stores, such as ShopRite, Food Town, Pathmark, and A&P. Andrea products are made with quality ingredients and manufactured with great pride. Items including... Ravioli, stuffed shells, monocotti, cavatelli, and prepared eggplants. All available for you and your family. Andrea insists upon quality, perfection, and frozen freshness at realistic prices. It is so mouthwateringly luscious. Andrea. Andrea is the name. Joe, excuse me, but you're talking about Andrea frozen food. Yes, that's what I said. Andrea. Andrea frozen pastas. Yes, but it's pronounced Andrea, not Andrea. We could be the new Sandler and Young, right? <laughs> Maybe. Why don't you spell Andrea for us once, or Andrea once? A-N-D-R-E-A. Andrea, or Andrea, my friends, no matter how you say it, you will know that you're getting true Italian quality. Andrea or Andrea, Italian frozen food products. They're so great. Zooming in popularity. ShopRite, Food Town, Pathmark, A&P. I mean, so delicious. Ravioli, stuffed shells, monocotti, cavatelli, prepared eggplant, right down the line for you and your family. You will thank me for this recommendation. What do you got, Mr. Riccio? How about today in history, Joe? Good idea. In 1921, that's 75 years ago, the World Series was broadcast on radio for the first time mm. with sports writer Grantland Rice describing the action between the New York Yankees and the New York Giants. And the New York Giants won. In 1830, the 21st President of the United States, Chester Arthur, was born in Fairfield, Vermont. And in 1892, the Dalton Gang, notorious for its train robberies, were practically wiped out when attempting to rob a pair of banks in Coffeefield, Kansas. One of the condolences we have, Richie, had to pay attention. Somebody called me on the phone and said that he was born on 116th Street in New York City on September 28, 1902, the same day and the same block. As Ed Sullivan. Wow. Can you believe that? Incredible. It's incredible. The same day and the same block. Ed Sullivan and this gentleman 
whose name I didn't even get because I had to get the heck on the microphone, is born in New York City, the same as Ed Sullivan and that man, 116th Street, September 28th, 1902. Is that incredible? Yes, it is. The Ed Sullivan Show was originally, well, of course, we knew it, but it was originally called Toast of the Town. Yes. But yes. Because that was the name of his column in the Daily News, Toast of the Town. But it got so popular that they changed the uh, name to his name, and they changed the theater eventually to the Ed Sullivan Theater. Right, right. But I'll tell you something, Joe. I believe that Joe Franklin show was responsible for one of his highest rated shows with Elvis Presley because his people saw Elvis on Joe Franklin show first, and then he picked up on it. But well, I think yeah, that was one of the greatest. Yeah, I appreciate that, Richie. You're, you're 50% right. From, from my show, Elvis was picked up for a summertime replacement on the Dumont Network on Channel 5 called the... Uh, the Tommy Dorsey, Jimmy Dorsey show. Right. With Jack Carter. They were, uh -huh. the, they were the replacement for the Jackie Gleason show of the summer. And then Sullivan uh, might have caught them from there. But we did, have, we did have Elvis Presley first. That's what counts. No false modesty here, right? <laughs> Why should that be? <laughs> Elvis was the king and so is Joe Franklin. Oh, you're the king. You're the king of significant. We're memory laning all through the night. I want to tell you, we played a record last week by the Barry sisters. We got a lot of uh, comments. I asked my good friend George Bettinger to go out and chat with Claire Barry. I'll do that after the 2 o'clock news, okay? Yes. The, the, the Barry sisters were uh, a lot of people who loved and still do love them and sadly only one is with us. Myrna Barry is gone, but Claire Barry will do some reminiscing for a couple minutes following the 2 o'clock news, right? It's a simple idea. Meet customers' needs and show them their business matters. But that simple idea is why a lot of our customers won't bank anywhere else. They do better at Emigrant Savings Bank. Our family's been an immigrant for, what, three generations? And my banker, Irene, she's known two out of three. So when Irene suggests a college savings program for my daughter, I know she's not trying to sell me something. She's looking out for the next generation. We've always done better. I've been an immigrant for a I started with savings, and I was like, oh, high rate CD. drug on the market which is showing some very good results mm -hmm. we can also treat this with hormone therapy increase our calcium supplements prescribe exercises which will strengthen the bone again definitely treatable what about detection there are several ways of measuring the density of the bone okay. the state of the art is the dexa machine which is now being made available in many doctors offices as a matter of fact we're proud to announce that we'll be starting our own osteoporosis center this year dr alfano is a traditionally trained md practicing preventive medicine Want to feel better? Call the Ridgewood Center at 201-444-4622. 201-444-4622. Associated Art has been serving WOR audiences for 15 years, buying their oil paintings, sterling silver, jewelry, bronze and marble statuary, antique rugs and furniture, art glass, stamp and coin collections, and all categories of antiques. More than 20,000 WOR listeners have consulted with Associated Art and have been given information leading to the successful disposition of their estates and antiques. Since 1948, Associated Art has been buying and selling fine art and antiques in the tri-state area. And they've opened up new markets in Europe, the Middle East, and Japan. Call them now at 1-800-762-4015. Speak to an expert. Ask all the questions you like about those items you wish to sell. Remember, you can only sell these items once. Let them help you make a proper decision. Call 1-800-762-4015. Associated with Art and Antiques. 1-800-762-4015. A number for Associated Art. They are the experts in the field of antique selling and making it really profitable. 1-800-762-4015. Dr. Alfano for osteoporosis 
uh, advice and for general well-being. And uh, people call me during the week who got a couple of digits wrong, want to get them right. It's 201. The doctor, 444-2642. 201-444-2642. I am with you wandering through memory lane on WOR Radio. Joe Franklin putting on the hits. WOR News. Sunday night is debate night in Hartford, and correspondent Peter Mayer says President Clinton is ready and hoping to gain the upper hand early. The president goes into the debate planning to take the high road. He insists he wants a positive debate. That doesn't mean there won't be any zingers aimed at Bob Dole, whose aides have promised some surprises. Clinton downplays all the pre-debate buildup. It's inevitable. It's a, it's a moment in which the Americans will have a chance to see us both, and that's a good thing. And millions of undecided Americans will be the target audience. The two 90-minute debates will provide the longest and perhaps last impressions of candidates Clinton and Dole before Election Day. Peter Mayer with the Clinton campaign. Aides in the Dole camp are not saying what surprise it's going to be on debate night. Denmark is reeling from a grenade explosion at the Danish headquarters of the Hells Angels motorcycle gang. Two people are dead, at least 16 others hurt. I'm Sean Hall. <laughs> memory lane on that very same WOR. I wanted to do a little more of Ed Sullivan a little bit later on this morning. I want to do Georgia Brown doing As Long As He Needs Me from Oliver. Georgia Brown. And I would love to do John Race as he appeared on the Ed Sullivan Show doing his big number from the Pajama Game way back in uh, the early 1950s. A song called Hey There. You hear him as he did it on the stage uh, singing it into his tape recorder from tape recorder sort of uh, sings along with him and sings back to him at the same time. The Ed Sullivan years, the Joe Franklin memory lane years, are addressed J-F-W-O-R, New York 1, 0018. Richie, let me do one word for Empire Diamond uh, and Gold Buying Service, then the very, very happy bit of memorabilia and sentimentality. Are you short on cash in these troubled times, or perhaps you want to pay off some old bills that are piling up? Well, you can. Empire Diamond and Gold Buying Service, high on the 66th floor in the Empire State Building, will buy your unwanted diamond and gold jewelry and silverware at the highest cash prices, so that you can have ready cash for your present needs and obligations. Empire will evaluate your diamond and gold jewelry at no cost, and if you decide to sell, you'll walk out with the highest cash prices paid in over 60 years. You always feel at ease in Empire's friendly office. Empire's customers are treated like family and friends. You can work it on in a private office with no sales pressure. The decision to sell is strictly yours. Empire will never try to trap you by asking, how much do you want for your jewelry? Empire tells you the price. It's unethical to ask. An honest jeweler will tell you what he can pay without backing you into a corner. Sell your diamond and gold jewelry and silverware at the highest cash prices today so you can have available funds for your necessities. Empire Diamond and Gold Buying Service, 66th floor, Empire State Building, 5th Avenue at 34th Street. Empire Diamond and Gold Buying Service. Now, speaking of gold, this announcement is pure gold. you got to see it. Gold antiques. Gold collectibles. Gold, silver, platinum, whatever it might be that's rare. From 45 states, 19 more countries, at the world's largest antiques and collectibles show. At Atlantic City. Next weekend, October 19th and 20th. That's a two weekend from now at the Atlantic City Convention Center. I've seen it every minute Amazing. Got there one time with Charles Schultz of Peanut Fame, and we uh, gave him a little bit of a lecture. The crowd, the excitement, it's just uh, electric. Nobody wants to leave. Everything from toys to classic furniture, Disney treasures to classic jewelry. It's a classic, it's a class all by itself, special the white house on his back the cigar that he really used nasty notes from the key to crucial plus the fake pearls jackie wore and a lot more this is one amazing event ladies and gentlemen go down and see it it's a great great time it's huge 120,000 items 1200 dealers and cheap dealers from all over the world 
Atlantic City, 1-800 for the information, 526-2724. Joe Franklin keeping fond memories alive at 205. Memorabilia galore, which you owe. There's a real stumper, Joe. What was Neil Star Simon's first Broadway hit? Plaza no, I would, say, I would say, come blow your horn. <laughs> Very good, Joe. I was going to say, come blow your uh, barefoot in the park. <laughs> Come blow your heart. Very good. I think it became a movie in 1963. And he's got a big new book out on his mind. Yes, Simon. He's great. Oh, yeah. Now, this is a tough one, Joe. Well, name Aretha Franklin's only song to hit number one on the charts. I'll give you a hint. It's one word, starts with an R, ends with a T, something that we want to give everyone. Respect. <laughs> oh, Joe, you are the greatest. Without that hint, I never know because I never heard the song, Respect. I'm that, sure well, that, was, well, that, was, that song was what? Aretha Franklin's what? Only number one song. Aretha Franklin's. My Aretha sister. Franklin. <laughs> well, one family, one happy family, right? Sure. And Benjamin was our grandfather. I like him, too. I'm ready. What was George M. Cohen's first success on Broadway? It was written at the age of 17. Little Johnny Jones? No, keep I, going. I give up. Hot Tamale Alley. Hot Tamale Alley. Yes. Never even heard of it, but George M. Bryant was a brilliant man, wasn't he? He certainly was. He certainly galvanized the American spirit when uh, we needed pepping up, right? Right. Richie, the other man goes through the mail, enormous mail for? Errol Garner. I loved him. He was one of the most... You know that he, uh, he never took a lesson? He just said that uh, he does what comes naturally. You'll actually hear him grunting. He was so... Magical, so electric. Errol Garner at the piano, my friends, one of the, not, if not one of the greatest, the greatest. Errol Garner, as he played, You Made Me Love You. There's one of his uh, albums called Concert by the Sea. I once heard sold 250,000 copies 
on the first day of issue. That never right. happened, right? No, that seems like a record of a record. It had to be for, for an instrumental, and one of his uh, records, one of his singles called Autumn Leaves sold, they said, a half a million within a couple of weeks. Which, I mean, for an instrumental, that was almost unheard of, right? Definitely. And he wrote Misty. Really? Oh, what a man. Errol Garner. Three o'clock this morning, we'll hear Errol Garner playing three o'clock in the morning. By the way, is a uh, drop-in guest, Bob Grant. Well, I want to remind you, those of you who listen to uh, this uh, great radio station, 710 on your dial, WOR, at midnight tomorrow, that's uh, Saturday night, the great Joe Franklin, who is not, not, not a person anymore. He's a walking, talking institution. He's an institution. This guy is a one-man institution. His special guest will be Captain Kangaroo, Bob Keeson. Uh, you listen to Joe, listen to, to the captain. I remember when I was a youngster, I used to watch Captain Kangaroo. I, I met him earlier today, and I was so thrilled. I said, hey, Bob, I mean, Captain, I remember watching you. I, I grew up watching you. And um, Bob Keeshan and Joe Franklin said, uh, uh, you're funny. You're funny. He's great, Bob Grant. Granted, he's number one in his profession, and it'll be Bob Keeshan at about 2.30 this morning down TV and radio memory lane with Bob Keeshan. What do you got for us, Richie O? A few today in histories. And then a reminder from Bethel Springvale Inn. But first, in 1937, saying the epidemic of world lawlessness is spreading. President Roosevelt called for a quarantine of aggressive nations. Ten years later, in 1947, the first televised White House address President Truman asked Americans to refrain from eating meat on Tuesdays and poultry on Thursdays to help stop crowd growth for starving people in Europe. And the theme song in the country at that time was Till We Eat Meat Again. Right? Yeah, I like that. There's a big song called Till We Meet Again, so they changed it to Till We Eat Meat Again. Ladies and gentlemen, a reminder that was on this day in 1996 that I said that discovering the wonders of living and retiring at Bethel Spring Vale Inn is the eighth and ninth and tenth wonder of the world. The best. Hello, I'm Tom Maldarelli, General Manager at Bethel Springvale Inn. Living alone isn't easy. Sometimes even the most routine chores become almost impossible to perform. You want to suggest a retirement residence, but the thought of asking mom or dad to give up their own home makes you a little uncomfortable. You need to do something, but who can you turn to? At Bethel Springvale Inn, we understand your concerns, and we're here to help. If you're worried about an elderly parent or relative who lives alone, we can offer you the necessary guidance to help them find the most appropriate living situation. If your family is struggling with these issues, why don't you give me a call? I've helped hundreds of families through the same situation, and I can help you. You can call me, Tom Maldarelli, at 1-800-462-2468. That's 1-800-462-2468. When you need somewhere to turn, Bethel Springvale Inn is there. Join them for lunch at their monthly open house call, 1-800-462-2468. For information, 1-800-462-2468. The ladies and gentlemen, if you think the idea of Obama a used car is easy, you are totally wrong. If you don't deal with the uh, right company, you may jeopardize your life. You think I'm wrong? Ask around and find out I'm right. Don't put yourself in that position. Instead, when you're in the market for a new used cars, trucks, minivans, four-wheel drives, American or import, you should consult the used car factory at Condemi Motor Company, where each and every vehicle is totally reconditioned from bumper to bumper and money-back warranty of not 100% satisfied. This is Tony Condemi inviting you to visit the used car factory because our commitment is to take you anywhere back home better than anyone else in the business. And that's the bottom line. And the bottom line is that if you call Tony Condemi personally and mention my name, Number one, a surprise, a little bit of a happy surprise, and the information from Tony on the merits, on the wisdom of dealing with him, the best used car dealer in the uh, business, and the wonders of a used car vehicle from Tony Condemi, a pre-owned vehicle. Call him right now to explain all the advantages. Tell him I told you to call. Call 201-777-2300. Give Tony Condemi a call right now, day or night, at 201 Seven 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 two three zero zero two fourteen in the morning on W O R on Joe Franklin's memory lane. Well, we got an enormous response to the music that we played last weekend by the wonderful Bowery Sisters and Richie 
Ornstein and I uh, asked our field reporter, George Bettinger, to track down the remaining half of that marvelous team, Claire Barry of the Barry Sisters. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the field segment of Joe Franklin's Memory Lane. This is your field reporter, George Bettinger, with a very, very special guest tonight, Miss Claire Barry. Claire, welcome to the show. Thank you so much. I'm delighted to be on with you. You began in local radio with a man by the name of possibly Maury Amsterdam. Oh, that goes back even before that. Oh, tell me about it. Yes. Oh, I started when I was nine years old, George. Wow. And uh, that goes back, uh, let's see, that was a 19 uh, black event. <laughs> and, and when you began, Claire, the name was Maury Amsterdam. Yes. Clara Bagelman. Clara Bagelman. Later to become the great Clara Barry. Yes. 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 What an experience that was. Oh, tell me about it. And, uh, well, when uh, we had no idea, we were the opening act. We went with Lisa Stevens. Yes. Margin Gower Champion. Oh, wonderful. Uh, and we couldn't believe the reception we received. You were well received. But the reason being that most of the Russians, somehow or other, had gotten hold of some of our albums. Isn't that incredible? And, and your records were on roulette. That's right. That was your label. Yes. Roulette, and uh, also Cadence, and then we went to RCA, and uh, one thing, like I say, led to another, and the Barry Sisters were a tremendous success. Claire, was, was it difficult keeping going after the oh, untimely passing of Mona? I, I didn't, I, first of all, I didn't think I'd ever sing by myself, mm -hmm. but I had received, the Barry Sisters had received so much mail that came to the radio station and did yes. And you and you're doing wonderfully. And I'm grateful that I've been given, you know, a second chance. Yeah. And that I'm still having a great career. And Ladies and gentlemen, my guest is Claire Barry of the incredibly famous Barry Sisters, an act that was uh, so popular and still is popular when you listen to those great records on roulette and uh, think about the the great years on the stage in vaudeville and in the Yiddish theater. Did the Barry Sisters ever actually have their own TV show? We had our own TV show in Berlin, in Germany. No kidding. Three years in a row. I have the video to prove it. Oh, wait, we'd love to see those. Oh, maybe someday. Oh, that would be wonderful. Well, thank you so much, Claire, for stopping in with us and chatting with us here on Joe Franklin's Memory Lane. I thank you. And, and tell Joe I love him and let him continue doing what he's doing and just stay healthy. And now back to Joe in the studio. Uh, we hope that she stays healthy for many years. I hope that movie on the life of the Barry Sisters comes into fruition or production. I'll, I'll be the first one online, right, Richie? Uh, I'll be right with you. They are so... Great. I mean, I say they are. We don't. We, we never say about anybody the late one because our people are always with us, always 
Always alive and vibrant, right? We live on memory lane. Always. And this is memory lane. We say welcome to our lost weekend. We get lost in fond remembering on WOR and very much in the present. Ah, oh, the Sunday papers. What a great place to shop for a car. Or is it? There's so many pages, so many offers. But how reliable are the prices? What will I find when I get there? Here at the Flemings and Car and Truck Country family of dealerships, we do things differently. The only price we ever advertise is the price you actually pay, plus tax and motor vehicle, of course. You get a genuinely lower price in your choice of 23 brands and over 3,500 new and used vehicles available. And you'll never go home wondering if you could have done better because we'll explain every detail and take as much time as you need. Stop the paper chase. Recycle. Then, come to the Flemington Car and Truck Company family dealerships, Routes 202 and 31, Flemington, New Jersey, where the informed consumer expects to pay less.